Hey there and welcome back and in this lesson we are going to look at DevOps tools. Now this lesson is primarily focused if you are um, either working on DevOps which is like development plus operations but if even if you're not it will come handy um, because we're going to keep it high level on this. So the development tool as you or DevOps is nothing but a um, different teams like both development team as well as operations team working together as a single team that's devops and that spans across entire development plus operations and management life cycle so when you configure anything you have plan you have to plan at the application software that you're developing then you developers will code it and then the they will or someone will build either developer or someone will build and that process is called as ci continuous integration then testers will test it and then it will be released on a server which is already built by ops guys so that release process and then deploy process uh, creating a release and deploying on the servers is called as continuous delivery so there is a ci and cd and then operators operators will operate or work on that ci cd or that entire uh, system or manage that system the whole process is called as uh, the devops and the code and build part is continuous integration including some part of testing and some part of planning whereas continuous delivery is basically um, testing deployment release and then operations this whole process is called as continuous deployment as name suggests and depending on uh, the industry in which you are working there are some tools which will be used like git which you see here is for code repository this is where your developers will develop and store their code something similar in AWS is called as AWS code commit where you store uh, something similar to exactly like git you can use code commit which is on uh, AWS cloud then you have um, uh, Jenkins or Travis for continuous integration continuous delivery that is where you have uh, you can use AWS code pipeline we'll see that in a minute or you can build your service using chef or Terraform we looked at when we were looking configuration management and something similar in AWS cloud for deployment uh, you have or configuration management you can have cloud formation and then for delivery you have other um, applications as well like ops work and cloud formation or AWS config um, and for uh, cloud watch for monitoring and AWS cloud trail for uh, auditing the events or auditing the AWS. So that whole process is CI CD DevOps tools. So let's begin with first tool which developer will use is code commit and code commit is something similar to your git uh, which is a or uh, SVN which is a um, uh, versioning system or your code versioning system. You have code commit which is a fully managed source control for um, which host a secure git based repository it's on the lines of git so it's easy for team or multiple developers to work and co uh, coordinate with each other so uh, code commit eliminates the need to operate your own source control system uh, that you're using code commit for that so developers will come and they will be working on the code commit to store uh, the repository then you have a code build so like you have a um, code being developed by developer and someone needs to develop a um, artifacts out of that and artifact could be a var file which is a web archive it could be a ear which is an enterprise archive it could be a image being created so that it can run on container so the process of uh, packaging um, your code so that it can deploy and ready to be deployed uh, that's done using a tool called um, in AWS world it's code build which is building the code as name suggests so with code build you don't need to uh, provision manage and scale your own build servers it you can use uh, code build tool to as a build server basically um, so that's what it picks up code build will can pick up or can be managed or worked through AWS management console or CLI SDK or you can invoke this from a code pipeline we'll see that pipeline what that is in a minute so code build then either a code build can code build can pick up your source code either from git or code commit which is aws proprietary or s3 bucket and then pick up the source file and using build script within the code build will generate the code uh, artifacts so code commit which is repository using code build can then combine together and generate a deployable artifact then once you have generated the artifact then you need to deploy them on the server 
So Code Deploy is a fully managed deployment service that automates your software de deployment. That a deployment could be a Java-based application, .NET-based application, an image that can run on containers, and so on. So it can deploy the uh, artifacts generated by uh, the code build uh, and can be deployed on various compute service that we saw earlier in compute, which could be EC2, or which is a elastic uh, cloud compute. It could be a Fargate, which is a serverless version, Lambda. Um, Fargate, which is a Docker and Kubernetes, or serverless version of Docker and Kubernetes, that's Fargate. Or you can deploy in functions, which is Lambda, or you can also deploy on your on-premise service. So that's code deploy. Now, if you see here, this code deploy, I have a staging uh, site or staging servers, on, so I'm deploying staging onto my uh, EC2 or for staging server, or it's for my um, production environment. Um, so this is in my, I'm deploying in a production and deployment. Now you can use, you can automate this, all this using code pipeline. So what this code pipeline is, code pipeline will pick up the code from the source repository, build it, and then deploy it using code deploy. So pipeline will, do all the things it will pick up the as a diagram you see it will pick up the files from source code build them test them and then you can also deploy them on the cycle on a server uh, and then once it's successful testing is complete you can automate and say deploy on production on that as well so code pipeline is a fully managed continuous delivery service that helps you to automate the release pipeline for faster deployment and quick infrastructure updates so it will alt automate the build, test, and deploy your phases of your delivery process of a development. So these are all a DevOps related tasks. So if you see putting it all together, you have a dev environment, um, and this is your um, production environment. You have a blue green deployment, which means right now production service is running on um, blue uh, here on this environment, and your developers have developed a new version of the same uh, application. So what they're going to do, developers will uh, uh, update the code and then we'll, they will say that I'm committing the code. And once they commit the code, it will go into the code repository. The build phase will build this uh, code build and then it will deploy. And you can say deploy in a green environment, which is uh, now the updated version I've up updated, you're deploying it for using the code deploy on this green environment. And uh, some users will be, or most of the users will continue to testing from a blue uh, environment. So blue and green is nothing but similar set of production, but in blue environment, my current live code is running. And in green environment is the environment on which I want to release the new update of my system and only 5% of the users, I say, test it through the green environment. And once they've tested it successfully, I can route my load balancers traffic to all the green environment, which is a new version of this. So that's the whole process of um, the development cycle. Now I can run my code or I can, um, my developed artifact, I can put them into S3 bucket or my storage bucket as well. And the whole, this process, which is code commit, code build and code deploy, I can manage it through automated pipeline, which is called as code pipeline. So this is in a nutshell about DevOps tool. Uh, again, if you're part of my AWS uh, DevOps engineer professional, we are going to go deep into these uh, in AWS DevOps engineer program as well. So with that, head on to the next lesson where we look at a quick high level 3T architecture of web apps and DBT that we have understood so far in earlier. And then we will hand on to the final module, which is how do you access the service? And we'll also point you to the uh, module or lab on creating a step-by-step -step activity guide uh, for you. So with that, um, I'll see you in next lesson. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if you want to dive deeper to any concept, then we have something really, really, really special for you. We have our free class on AWS DevOps for Beginners certification along with some demo. In this free class, you'll be learning about why learn DevOps and on AWS Cloud. What is AWS DevOps? Who should be learning about it? CI CD pipelines. You'll be getting a demo. You'll also be getting some hands on labs and job opportunities as well. So, in order to register for this free class, 
all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash aws devops 02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now and add your event date according to your availability enter your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of url on the extreme right save that url and i will see you in the free class till then keep learning